Hey guys, welcome back to my channel with Celia. So I kind of wanted to give you guys an update on my hiatus. So I've been kind of taking a break from like YouTube, social media, and really just life in general. Um, I mean, well not life, but it's like how can you take a break from life? I don't know, I guess it depends on what you what life is to you and what, what you consider life and living. But uh, <laughs> to be honest with you, it, it hasn't been feeling like I've been living lately. It feels like I've just been like existing and life just does not feel real like there's so so much going on every time I turn around there's just you know something else is happening and um it just feels like nothing but just toxicity and just evil and just it's just really weighing me down and bringing me down um on top of that I have been going through grief so I've been grieving from losing a handful of people in my life within the past you know within a short period of time like i lost my grandmother back in july i lost my best friend to cancer um like a couple of months ago and then like my aunt recently so it's it's just like one thing after another after another um i've been extremely burnt out um and i've just gotten to a point where my body has been forcing me to rest like i really it's just gotten to a point where I haven't had energy to do anything else besides rest and even when I do try to rest it's like I feel guilty so I can't fully enjoy that rest um, and I think it has something to do with um, a lot of us being programmed to feel like we always have to be doing something 24 7 and um, you know always working always doing this always staying busy in order to feel like we're um, you know living life correctly if that makes sense or in order to feel like you know we're worthy of our lives and like we're doing something productive and contributing to the world but um i really don't like i really don't like this mindset and i see how problematic it is and how like the hustle culture is just super just toxic and um so i've really been trying to work on reframing that mindset and actually allowing myself to rest uh and to be honest with you my my way of resting I really honestly have not been doing much like literally I, I'm gonna tell you guys what my daily routine is for the most part so during my work week I work Sunday through Thursday um, so pretty much what I do is and I work from home by the way so I, I'll get up um, a little bit before I start work and you know get ready and all that I'll work till from 9 to like 5 30 and then after work I will usually work out or maybe cook a meal and then just you know take a shower and then like binge watch Netflix like that's all I, I do really um, and then on my days off sometimes on my days off like I'm so exhausted and burnt out to where I don't do anything like I'll just you know watch Netflix or maybe like spend some time with family watch a movie um, cook cooking is something that's really therapeutic to me and really really helps me recharge and feel energized and actually feel kind of productive but like I'm taking care of myself at the same time um, so that's really all I have been doing and I haven't even really been on social media like that. I'm mentally exhausted. Um, every time I go on social media it makes me feel worse because there's just so much negativity on there. Uh, just too much going on in the world like I said and it's, it's really draining. Um, I've kind of been isolating myself from friends, from some family. Um, the only family members that I talk to and communicate and hang out with regularly would be like my mom, my brother. Um, but like besides that like I've just been going MIA and it's not that I don't want to talk to people like I definitely do but it's just the fact of you know communicating with people um, some sometimes it's just it's really draining and I don't mean that like in a bad way because I do you know love my loved ones like I love talking with you guys and like with friends and stuff like that but there becomes a certain point of time where it's like I have no energy to the point where like the conversation would not be effective so it doesn't make sense to respond and i'm just like super dry and not engaged and not mentally there um i prefer to wait till till <laughs> a better time when i'm more um you know when i'm just able to to have a better conversation and actually give people my time and energy but right now i just don't have that and I think the reason why I've just been so drained lately too is because the nature of my job um, some of you guys know that I am a counselor so I talk to people um, almost daily about you know suicide and like depression and just stuff like that and that's um, that can take a toll on you too that's you know I love what I do I love being able to help people and people being able to come to me for support but at the same time that can just be very draining um, so yeah I've so yeah I've actually been planning to do a longer break so I've I'm really just trying to 
allow my body to rest and like I said I have not been resting very effectively just because I still carry that guilt from not doing anything uh, but I always have to remind myself that doing nothing is doing something and sometimes you need to just do nothing and I constantly have to remind myself like you're not lazy just because you know you don't want to do anything today like you have a lot going on Leah like you do a lot of things like this is just me kind of talking to myself like you do a lot of things like you know you're you're very productive you're you know you do what you got to do and it's okay to rest and it's okay to do nothing and do things that you enjoy from time to time um you know life is really about finding a balance um you know not we're not made to work all the time not every day is about you know grinding working um, money or just anything like that um it's about you know doing things that you enjoy being able to stay present in the in the moment like in the in, what is it um sorry guys i'm all over the place it's about being able to stay present um what is, what is that called like when you're focused on the present i think there's like a term for it um mindfulness yeah being able being able to practice mindfulness mindfulness and being um you know focus on the present is what's really important um, I think for me I have an issue with sometimes planning too far ahead in the future like um, and I noticed that brings me anxiety like I, I'm a very naturally anxious person I struggle with anxiety and sometimes I can think too much about my future to where I'm like okay I have to do this now like for my future or so I can set myself up in my future or I have to you know do certain things a certain way and that's really unhealthy too because we are not supposed to be thinking so far ahead into the future um because we never know what the future can hold the future is unpredictable sometimes and the best that we can do is just control what we can control and whatever is outside of our control give it to god you know so that's one thing that i've been working on a lot um and i've actually been planning to do a longer um hiatus from like social media and everything the only thing i'm not going to take a break from is probably youtube uh, but to be honest with you i've been recording videos and um whenever i felt like it so it's not like anything i've been having like a schedule on lately just because i've been trying to rest um and i've kind of been in that mindset to where i'm not trying to let anything on social media control me even to you even down to youtube like i'm not going to feel like I have to post a video because I'm worried about analytics and like views and, and all that kind of stuff like I don't ever want to feel controlled by social media and by numbers it's and it's very easy to fall into that when you post content um, so yeah I am going to be taking a social media break uh, deleting all my apps except YouTube I do want to keep YouTube I'm gonna be taking a social media break 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 until April and my birthday's coming up so um, for the month of January, like I had planned to make it a more productive, busy month and to get things done before um, my vacation week because I'm taking like a, a short staycation week, um, my birthday week, which is the, the first week of February. So like February 1st through February 5th, I'm not going to have any work. I'm not going to be on social media. And I plan to have everything done before that week because that week I'm really just big chilling. Like I plan to, you know, get a massage. Um, what else you know get a mani pedi I, I normally do my own mani pedis but you know that week i'm just gonna go get pampered um i'm going to you know cook because i like to cook maybe bake a nice cake um you know exercise just really focus on taking care of myself spending time with god um and you know i've been doing that every day too trying to read my bible every single day and on the days that i don't feel like reading it i will listen to it just doing things that helps um you know uplift my spirit and strengthen me spiritually because there is a lot of evil going on in this world right now and everything is not what it seems there's a lot of strange things going on life does not feel real right now it feels like we're living in a movie or something and everything just feels everything just feels not real <laughs> it feels weird and that's because a lot of things that are going on are not real like a lot of things are staged a lot of things are you know um happening to fulfill certain agendas to man to manipulate the masses certain ways and i'm just tired of it and i i, I just i don't want any parts of it um so i've like i said i've really just been chilling and um i forgot what i now i'm losing my train of thought because i feel like i had something to say as it related to that yeah I, I just lost my train of thought but um yeah you guys so i've really just been chilling um uh 
for the rest of today I'm just chilling I even put on a little bit of makeup today just to make myself feel a little bit more like energized but I'm not even going anywhere and I really feel like uh, for the winter season and I notice this about myself every year too but I, I really notice that during the winter months I usually tend to be more isolated and just um, to myself and indoors I don't really go into anywhere so it's kind of like my way of like hibernating I guess um, so yeah I'm really excited for my social media break and if you guys want to join me please let me know um, I would love that I think it's very healthy to take breaks and I'm not gonna lie like I've been debating on um, deleting my social media for good again and just leaving it because that's just how done I am with social media and how tired I am of it i um, been tired but like I said I, I um, um, I'm okay with being back on to communicate with you guys and I will do better at getting back to you guys but whenever I have the energy to do so and I feel more rested and energized um, I think that's really all I have to say for today I'm trying to think if there's anything else yeah I don't know but that's all I have to say for today so y'all hit me up um, like comment subscribe like I said after today I'm not going to be on um, any social media until April 1st of 2023 so well besides the YouTube but yeah <laughs> but um and like I said I have no set schedule with YouTube it's pretty much just posting whenever I can whenever I have the energy whenever I feel like it um but anyway that's it for today I love you guys hope you guys are doing okay I hope you guys are taking care of yourself uh like comment subscribe and I'll talk to you guys in the next video thank you